How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and this time we are talking about a much requested topic that being our final tier list for Dragon Ball Fighters season 2. The odds are pretty good that they will reveal something going into the World Tour finals sometime in February regarding the future of Dragon Ball Fighters but for season 2 this is pretty much the end of the line meaning we have had a long time with each and every one of these characters including DBS Broly who is the latest inclusion. Uh, even we have a couple weeks with him now so this is really probably the best time to be doing a video like this. Quick disclaimer, as with all tier list videos, this is just going to be my opinion on the characters in this game. Tier list can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different players. Uh, top players, beginners, middle level players, and even within those groups, people's opinions usually vary. So definitely let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are on Dragon Ball Fighters and where you think some of the characters should land in terms of strength. Oh, you'll notice another thing I did here was I kind of limited to only C because even the worst characters in Fighters due to the nature of it being a tag team fighting game aren't really bad and the system mechanics and fighters really lend themselves to making that if you're just a good player and you know your way around on defense you know you'll get the job done with pretty much anybody here some characters are just better than others though but no character you're picking here is really like a joke character or just so bad that you really shouldn't even bother with that said though i think it's pretty easy just bop and bop <laughs> those are the only two characters i think you could put in c tier actually hold on let me get him a little friend here blue vegeta if i were to organize this by strength i would probably put it like some Something like this maybe but yeah this is probably the level of strength i would put inaccurate c tier blue vegeta i think you could just use some additional tools nobody's really playing him at a high level you just don't really see him too often again it's not like he can't get the job done he has a low hitting 2l all of the normals of a vegeta but his assist is a little underwhelming and just his toolkit in general is a little underwhelming especially when compared to other vegetas in the game that are just so much better that even if you're a fan of vegeta it makes picking vegeta blue a little harder to do krillin on the other hand has some really strong components and i do not think he's the worst in the game at all in fact if i was doing this entirely based on my heart and not the fact that there's probably a blue Blue Vegeta main out there uh, that also feels this way. I would say Krillin could be in B tier, maybe low B tier, uh, but you know, he has a lot of strong stuff. His post vanish game, his Kamehameha, all of those things are so, so good. But the fact it's a team fighting game and Krillin's assist is just super awful, really makes him difficult to use. Uh, Cause when you switch him out, it really honestly feels like you just have a dead character. And then the character that I have in dead last, that is Jiren. What an unfortunate character Jiren has turned out to be. He, he just struggles in so many areas even in areas where it seems like even the devs of arcs are like yeah uh yeah, Jiren kind of sucks. <laughs> and these areas I'm specifically talking about are his counters, which people can just vanish out of pretty much just all of them. You don't even get a combo from landing a melee counter or a hit counter, I should say. Just when they attack you and you do a physical attack counter, you can't combo off that for free. You have to spend a bar and get scaled damage. W why? And then you do his range counter and people can vanish out of that. And you compare that to a character like Janemba who also has a key blast and beam counter and he's fully invincible and it locks on and he can combo why why is Janemba so privileged compared to Jiren I mean Jiren should also work like Janemba's to be fair maybe not in the exact way obviously you don't have to make it appear behind them but just let Jiren get a combo off both of his counters and even then I don't think he would be too too good but uh it would definitely improve him a little bit overall some other adjustments I could see them making is definitely tweaking the speed of his 5h grab that's another thing he doesn't have a standard 5h uh, where instead he just gets a command grab but it's painfully slow compared to some of the others in the game so it overall just kind of feels like a desperate move if you ever want to go for it just like wow that Jiren player really clicked that unsafe button huh? <laughs> that's the only way I could see it really catching people and now we move on to the top of the top S plus why did I separate S and S plus it's just because I feel like there's a small dividing line between S plus and S and I, I think it's pretty obvious but we're just gonna go ahead and pop them right in here who are the three characters I think are S plus material you got the number one in the game, GT Goku. People are going to disagree on this. A lot of people think it's Kid Buu, but I feel like what you're getting for GT Goku is just, it's a little too much. Honestly, GT Goku is the complete package. This man has everything you could want. Slide him on any team. And Kid Buu has some of that as well. That's why he's also S+. Plus. But I don't know. I feel like he's less of an overall good tool. And I could see people disagreeing with me on this because I feel like Kid Buu does a lot too. It's hard. I, I think they're next to each other, but I feel like Goku GT just barely gets it for me. And maybe that's just because I find him a 
little more annoying. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they are they are both S plus. The last S plus character for me is Teen Gohan. I hate this guy. I hate this character. <laughs> I hate defending against him. I should say he's just too good, dude. He's got the damage. He's got the combos. He's got the the neutral. This character is just really really nice to play. Now I think he's in a good spot. Actually, I would probably tone him down. All things considered, maybe he's in too good of a spot. But a part of me thinks it's really nice to see him so high up when at the beginning of Fighter's lifespan he was seen as a complete uh, non-factor just because the adult Gohan was so much better than him. And S, that's right, S, I'm gonna start off with Bardock down here. Uh, people are dropping Bardock nowadays, but I don't think that's really a reason to sleep on him. There's a reason Bardock is Bardock and we all know and love him. Even now, I still view him as the epitome of a fighter's character. This guy just has every tool you could want while still doing all of the basic stuff really well. Whereas Goku GT is like that, but also like they gave him a spirit bomb for some reason and made him shorter. Bardock again is probably one of those characters we don't have to talk too much about, but he's very approachable, making him great for newcomers to pick up and dip their toes into fighters more hardcore side with all of the stuff he can do. So if you haven't played Bardock and you're new to the game, I actually would recommend picking him up. Uh, it's hard to nerf Bardock as well. I don't think there's much they could do to him without completely killing his character, uh, but it'll be interesting seeing what they do with him moving forward if they continue with this game. As for other S characters, maybe this is where most people will start disagreeing with my list because I'm actually going to throw a couple contestants up here. We got Adult Gohan. That one I don't think people will disagree with, but I'm also going to throw in DBZ Broly. And I also just have to throw in Super Saiyan Goku up here, dude. Super Saiyan Goku has proven that he is here to stay. He is definitely the Ryu of Dragon Ball Fighters, except he is much more of a multi-tool. This man can go on any team. He's got the classic beam assist, but his simplicity really doesn't hurt him when he's out on the field as well. He has a great key blast game. He can play just about any aspect of fighters well, uh, and you've seen this character make comebacks. There, a lot of people joke about Super Saiyan Goku being a comeback character, and it's because it's entirely true. 1v3 with Super Saiyan Goku ain't even that hard if you have Sparkin by your side, as, as you can really just approach just about any character and really make them play more your game than theirs. DBZ Broly I have up here just because this dude is an absolute monster. He'll chase you down. He has a great amount of armor moves. And honestly, even more than that, it's his key blast game. The keep away potential with Broly is so stupid. Definitely not what I foresaw when they were making this character, putting out trailers and stuff, uh, because he does have grabs and armor. So I thought he'd be a grappler, but then uh, they decided to put some uh, armor on those key blasts too. Just the ability to overpower anybody else in the key blast game, make them want a super dash uh, and punish them appropriately after that is, is a huge nuisance to deal with. With. And adult Gohan, uh, out again, we don't really have to talk about him too much. He's pretty much just Teen Gohan with a very good level one super. Still insane what this character is able to do off of a level one uh, with the snap stuff. So adult Gohan probably has one of the best level one supers in the game with that power up. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do this. I just thought about this now, but I think I'm also going to add base Vegeta to S. I don't know if I want to stick with that though, but he is a very solid character. I'm going to do it just because, man, he's so good. The key blast, the kicks, it's crazy how slept on this character was until a few months ago. But now that he's here, I definitely think he's proven he has the tools to stay. I don't even think they really need to nerf this character. I think he's in a great spot. Uh, I could move him down to A though. I'm going to keep him in S for now. I'm going to keep him in S for now. We'll see if I change my mind later on, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard leaving him up there, I think, because he could definitely be top of A, no question. But S, I don't know. I think it suits him well. A is where you're going to start seeing a majority of the cast of fighters. This is where you got characters like Vegito that are so good. Yamcha is definitely up here as well. Uh, and you could just fit in so many trunks, go tanks, the Android 21. This isn't even in order, by the way. Maybe I move go tanks back here. Gogeta, Goku Blue, Zamasu, Janemba, Cell is for sure Broly. up here. Seeing Super Saiyan Vegeta below base Vegeta makes this really hard. <laughs> but I think that's true. I, I honestly think that might be the case. Or am I losing it? And the last character character I'm going to put in A is probably going to be base Goku. He is last, but I don't actually think he's last. It's insane how popular base Goku got after Wawa picked him up. Uh, just dominated, really showing some of the strengths of the character. And yeah, what else can you say? The Spirit Bomb, super good for the damage. Uh, it's great. Uh, just a really good character. His assist is annoying as well. That stupid assist with the block stun and the two-way hit. Oh God, I hate base Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I hate base Goku. And B, this is where you're going to see some of those lesser characters, but still very deadly in the hands of the right people. Think 17, probably, probably my number one pick, followed by, oh, what? I didn't put 18 in A? 
Yeah, let's go up there. <laughs> but yeah, B is like those characters you see when you see a main of them. You're like, oh man, that guy's going to mix me up. Uh, but yeah, so Ginyu, Android 21, I'd even put Hit down here. Hit could probably go up to A. I'll give you a loose A hit. I'll give you a loose A. I haven't seen a Hit player in so long, though. That has to be the order for me. So let's go through these all, all very quickly. Android 17 uh, is super good. I love Android 17 in this game, but he does have his problems with just the stubby normals. One of his specials being almost completely useless. Uh, all that stuff. You, you've heard of his problems before, and they're still there, but a good player can really make some moves happen with 17. Uh, so I like to keep him right up there with B. Same goes for Beerus, really, and Android 16 is probably the saddest character for me and B. The thing is, you really don't see people playing him anymore. He's taking a lot of nerfs. He's not the king of fighters that he used to be. I don't know. I kind of hope he gets buffed at least a little again, maybe with some new tools or something, because I don't know. It's it's sad seeing him down here, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, you could probably push him up to A. I think he's more of a B now. I think he's more of that, that character that you just don't see enough these days. Ginyu is another one of those characters that could desperately use a buff. He's just kind of fallen out of favor, even with the hidden low tier Ginyu mains uh, that are uh, that will like ruin your day, even there he's kind of fallen out of favor because people have just figured him out at, at, a, at a higher level. So Ginyu could definitely use some more tools, maybe a different way to call out the Ginyu force or something like that, cycle through him, uh, more combo potential, stuff like that. Something to get the Ginyu mains back up and running again. TN, just kind of too much of a basic character, I guess, to go any higher than A for me. The Dodon Ray assist is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie, but he's just such a standard character. Uh, I mean, again, if the game's so close you could kind of merge these two or if you show me a decent player on nowadays i could just i can move them up stuff like that just like i don't know you need to see one in action but i think b for these works pretty well because you're always going to you're never going to see them until just somebody that likes the character picks them up and starts mixing you majin buu pretty much the epitome of that sentence majin buu mains are wild i cannot defend against this character if it was a tier list on how bad the character beats me majin buu would be s plus it's not even a joke I, the character ruins me. Frieza as well would probably be S plus if we were on that tier list. The keep away game. He's probably one of the more keep away focused characters in the game along with DBZ Broly, but that's to be expected when he has those annoying key blasts, the rocks and the destructive discs that now give hard knockdown. Videl, that's just a sad character to see, man. I wish Videl was stronger in this game, but it's just, it just wasn't meant to be, I guess. You need to give her some buffs, Arxis. Make, give her something that'll get people experimenting with her again so we could see her in more tournaments and stuff like that. And Nappa is a character many consider to be C, or I did. I would probably put him down here, but I just really like what the character can do now. He's pretty annoying with the amount of lows. I'm not saying he's... He's high, I would actually put him last in B, uh, because that's where I feel like he belongs. He's He's got decent stuff, better stuff than these three, but still, he he's only Nappa. He's gotta go at the bottom of B. <laughs> and that about wraps up my tier list for season two of Dragon Ball Fighters. You can let me know your thoughts down below. Honestly, I could see myself changing the, A is the only one not ordered, by the way. This is not in order at all. Uh, you could easily mix some of these around and it wouldn't matter to me. <laughs> but everything else I think I have down to an order here. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with this. I mean, maybe B could be mixed up a little too, but we covered that in the video. Like I said before, definitely let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the stuff we make here. Like I said, I'm hoping Dragon Ball Fighters receives some news about its future going forward, so definitely stick around to the channel to stay updated on all of that stuff. If you want to watch more videos right away, there should be some up on your screen, so give those a watch. Thank you again for making it to the end of this video. I have been Dr. Doya, and I will see you in the next one.